In this video, we'll look at the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for carbon. So carbon has three primary isotopes. We'll talk more about isotopes later. But we know for carbon that carbon has an atomic number of six. So carbon, doesn't matter what isotope it is, carbon always has an atomic number of six. That's what identifies carbon as carbon. And the atomic number, that's just the number of protons. So we can put six for the protons. When we look at elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. So for carbon, we have just C. That means it doesn't have a charge. It doesn't have a plus or a minus sign after it. It's just carbon. That makes it a neutral element. And for neutral elements, the number of protons, that equals the number of electrons. And again, it doesn't matter what type of isotope you have for carbon. So that's all six. We're left with neutrons and the mass number. If you had a sample of carbon, you had a block of carbon, most of it would have a mass number of 12. And we can see that from the periodic table. This is an average of all the isotopes based on their abundance. So most of them have a mass number of 12. That means if they have a mass number of 12, we know they have six protons. Then to figure the neutrons out, something plus six equals 12, six neutrons. Turns out 98.9% .9 of carbon atoms, they have a mass number of 12, so they have six neutrons. Some of them actually have a mass number of 13. And if they have 13, something plus six equals 13, seven plus six, that'll give us 13. So some of the carbon atoms in the sample, about 1%, will have seven neutrons and therefore have a mass number of 13. And then a little bit, just a little trace of the sample will have 14 as its mass number. So if it's 14, something plus six gives us 14, eight plus six is 14. So that has eight neutrons. When we see this average atomic mass, this 12.01 on the periodic table, that's an average of the different isotopes based on their abundance. Sometimes you'll see carbon written a little differently than on the periodic table. They'll take the atomic number and put it right here, and then they'll put the mass number up here. So we call this carbon-12. So this isotope is carbon-12 because its mass number is 12. So we put the 12 here, the atomic number here. We could do carbon-13. This is carbon-13 by putting the carbon. We put 13 here, and the atomic number, that's always going to be 6 for carbon. Then let's do the last one, carbon 14, right? Because it has a mass number of 14. That would be carbon. Six is the atomic number. And then 14 would be the mass number. So this is called nuclear notation. It's just another way to write it. It gives us that exact mass for the isotope we're talking about, where the periodic table, that's an average of the different isotopes for the sample. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for carbon. Thanks for watching.